Welcome back, it's Dex Not Dexter back with another video. In this video, we're gonna be talking about OnlyFans, and well, I guess I just said never mind. <laughs> Without further ado, let's get into the video. So this article comes brought to you by The Verge, and the title of this article is OnlyFans says never mind, it actually won't ban adult content on October first. This article says, in an abrupt tweet, video and image sharing site, OnlyFans announced a reversal of the shocker the shocker announcement that it would ban explicit content. In a statement to The Verge, a spokesman said, the proposed October 1st, 2021 uh, changes are no longer required due to banking partners. Assurance that OnlyFans can support all genres of creators. This comes just one day after the CEO said in an interview with Financial Times in the reasons for the ban was actually issues with the banking partners, not Mascar as some had assumed. Not only fans creators may, uh, many of whom had allegedly begun deleting content that violated the policy, are starting sh <laughs> started shifting their subscriber base to new platforms or facing are faced with a new choice. They can either stick with the partner that grew to bring in billions by hosting content made by night workers or ditch the partner that looked like it sold them out <laughs> when things got tough yo this is actually pretty interesting uh what's happening and because i think a lot of people you know thought us about going public uh, i think a lot of like speculation was around that about like hey they're trying to prop themselves up to be in a better position to go public or to get better investing funding but it seems like uh this kind of confirms that it's more about, hey, we want to keep bringing in revenue, which is, I guess, more important than like the content creators themselves, uh, because like you, if you can have like great content creators and everything like that, but you can't bring in revenue because a lot of the banking partners won't allow you to like ex they won't accept the payments. Like if they go through the site and they're like, oh, it's, it's crazy stuff going on here. We're not going to accept payments through this platform. So it's like, yeah, it could be great content, but if it's not, you know, monetizable, you know, you know, not able to make money then like how is the company supposed to thrive and so with this you know new outlook um, i'm pretty sure it was also external factors about probably going public you know how it's positioned in the platform but like uh, i think what they said kind of makes sense because i think 50 percent of their customer base or like i guess content creation base does like some form of adult content and so alienate them i know like it was a juxtaposition between uh, OnlyFans and Tumblr and how what happened when they delete a lot of their adult content and like how like they planned on fixing that and so I think this may be a little bit different I think everybody kind of poised uh, OnlyFans as the new Tumblr where like hey they're trying to clean her up pretty her up pretty him up and send him off to market as like a new and improved clean safe for work type of you know uh, environment for everybody and that didn't really work well with the user base, right? Which is important. That's kind of what you're selling anyway. You're not really selling the actual app idea. You're kind of selling the customer base that goes with it. So with that being said, like I'm actually happy to see that um, what happens with this type of things because, like, especially as you know, the times are right now as like you know, media is you know politics, and especially in the U.S., it's very like you know politicized. And so like to have like different banking partners or even like. Um, website hosting you know platforms being kind of like hey you can do what you want we care about the green for the most part I think is good for like marketing like well for free market you know what I'm saying to make sure that everybody can get their ideas out and like make money off of it because like if you're a capitalist which usually the most of the US is um, you know let the people decide you know if they want to pay for OnlyFans let them pay for OnlyFans like you shouldn't really care if um, that happens you know what i'm saying like if people want to pay for it and everything like that but i also want to give you like the flip side um i don't have an article for this but it's just something i was like reading into where i think you know you know only fans is kind of throwing it underneath the bus like a lot of the banking and you know credit card holders and stuff like that as far as like it's their fault this is happening um i think to keep in mind that this may not really be like hey we just don't want to be associated with this type of content it could be also like legal issues where I think even like a bigger adult sites had their credit card information or banking companies pull out because of 
like illegal actions and illegal acts and stuff going on like you know underage stuff like you know forceful stuff you know where like and this was up there and being monetized against and it started becoming rampant where it's like how do you or like people you know how do you can tell like who's using this who, like if the video has like people in the video are consenting to this stuff like this um because you know yeah you may be able to like pay out checks and the person who owns the account may be getting money it may be of age and everything and have a legal bank account or whatever whatever but it doesn't say like about the content that a person actually posts onto their website and if like you know uh these bankers these banking companies are responsible for uh you know helping facilitate a lot of the payment and trade it's kind of like send the stuff in motion it's kind of like hey we're this these banking companies are like sending money to the people who are causing you know illegal actions to happen so it's perpetuating it you know what i'm saying and it's like it's going to be more rampant because it becomes more popular people are paying for it and everything like that and it may not be on the user because the users may not know what's going on you know you know there's scenes and craziness everywhere so as an end user like somebody who may be watching this you may not know like oh this is not consented upon or this is underage or whatever you just see these videos and as the stories come out as the parents or whatever happens it becomes a real big issue um especially like perception of the companies that was happening with this but also legality of it as far as you know your company being used for like you know more dark acts um which you know after a certain point of time you know at certain points in time it could become like hey this is a acceptable margin of error you know what i'm saying maybe if one percent two percent three percent does it you can't you know you know make sure nobody has it or maybe very hard to but you can put a lot of factors into place but as, it, as that percentage starts growing you know as that becomes like maybe 0.005 percent now it's you know 0.1 percent you know what i'm saying and it starts growing and growing it's like this is getting out of hand especially as the platform grows so like it could just be like not even as a percentage but like as the numbers grow like oh it was a hundred you know at the beginning now it's thousands of people who maybe you know participating in these dark acts and i think that's what a credit card and the making companies are a little afraid of as well as perception like you don't want to always be seen like a lot of your money is coming from like dark acts and stuff like that and that's also why i think like is a hesitation for like bitcoin and other stuff like that to be adopted because you know like with crime and stuff in other countries you don't it may be um hard to track some of that money um at least not as easily as with you know banking where they have like your information your home address and all this other stuff right so maybe a little bit you know more tedious to do it through bitcoin or whatever and i think that's why like a lot of countries are hesitant to adopt that but i think also that's why citizens like that because you don't have all my information and stuff like that but i just want to rambling on but i just you know want to know what you think about that also before i before i go the people who do make only fans if you do see this video how do you feel about this because the article did bring up a good fact about like hey they kind of threw y'all on the bus or maybe that's a perception or how the article like you know proposed they did that where they was going to kind of let all the adult content workers go and well they didn't they changed their mind um are you happy about this like the fact that like they got his information and they issued to it issued it out as soon as possible or are you like kind of like yeah, I don't trust y'all anymore because because it's like my livelihood can be like snatched from underneath me at any time now. Um, how am I supposed to trust a platform like this? And like there's so many external factors that like you can't control anymore. Uh, anymore actually you could never control. Um, so how do you like deal with that? Because you know I know some people go to OnlyFans because of the freedom. I have to work a t typical nine to five or whatever, I'm not the answer to anybody. But when you kind of realize, like, yeah, OnlyFans and the banking and all the other figures that make this run, even though they don't, they're not in charge of me, they can heavily impact and influence how you make money in the long and short run. Like, October was the first turnaround. Like, it was like Saturday last, I mean, not Saturday, it was like last week when they came out with the information. So, a week later, for one week to from one week intervals they really changed their mind that could have huge impl implications on how you want to go about your life and make money i think that would be an issue for anybody um but are you saying are you happy that they are trying to keep this platform open and they are letting you know as fast as possible and you're grateful that they are being able to like uh communicate with the public about what's going on and plans and so it's not such a drastic action because they did give you a full month i guess to make this change um instead of like hey 
tomorrow or next week you know policies are being updated because you know all the time we don't see a lot of stuff like that with like a lot of these platforms you just get an update on your phone you just click okay cool and you don't know what happened until later on it's like okay so yeah tell me what you think about that and i know it's gonna be a lot of like content creators you know that's going to talk about whether this is like you know should happen or whether people should be on this platform or whatever if you're an adult i don't really care but with that being said please like and subscribe dex night dexter if you want to see more content like this and your boy 